Hey you guys, it's C. Fowler here. I'm going to do a quick, really quick video, hopefully, on how to do that low voltage mod on the QRX350 Pro. What this is going to do is stop um, the flight controller from assuming that the battery voltage is too low to fly and it would kill your battery. So, therefore, it turns itself off and falls out of the sky. And yeah, you know what happens. So, this modification, very simple, very quick. Very short video, hopefully. Um, all you're gonna do is uh, take the top off your quad. I'll also get screws out, whatever. All right, mine loosened. On the top of the Dev OM here. The first port here is empty. The second one, the data bus, is used for the receiver. And the third one is check power. I just already disconnected mine. It runs from these pins here this connector. Now there's a couple of problems with this thing. Uh, you can cut these and add your own servo extension lead on here and make it plug and play. Plug another one into it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to cut them and I'm going to solder them together. Also, um, the real problem is that you're not going to have any control over the battery power anymore. So if your battery gets too low, it will kill your battery if you drop a lipo underneath that three volts i think um some people say 3.3 .3, but i've i've there's ways to fix it trust me i've taken one down below that and if you have a question about how to save a battery it's been over discharged i can tell you how to do it but they can catch on fire which would not be a good thing anyway you get a lipo alarm i have a couple of them sitting around here these are what you're talking about I've seen people uh, stick them on the sides, stick them on top there. You plug your balance port into here and it will read out the charge of the battery. You can set an alarm on it and it'll start beeping. If you're far away, if you're doing FPV, you're not going to hear it anyway. So I'd recommend using a timer. Um, that's the only way you're going to know. But honestly, it's a good idea. <clears throat> First step is going to be to cut these cables here. Cut them down a little bit so it's not right at the very edge. So you can make connectors, but. These are really small wires. I can't use my wire stripper. Uh, scissors or something. Hang on. Okay, I stripped and cut the wires. They are very small. Be very careful. I would use scissors. Uh, you don't want to chop them apart or pulling strands off. Anyway, then. The black, red, and white wires are what gives the signal to the WM and the power. These are both red and black are five volts this one right here the white one is the one that checks the signal power or whatever from the battery so if you plug them all together you're, you're pretty much making a short on it so then the white wire will always read five volts it will not know your battery is dying if it is dying so that solves what the problem we're trying to get to here i'm just going to start these together and i'll be right back Okay, so that's how you get rid of the LVC monitor on the Devo M for the Walkers QRX 350 Pro. So what I ended up with here, you just plug it back into the same power check port that you took it out of. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, battery monitor here, to show you if you don't know what this is. It's a little 2200. Just plug into the balance port. Shows total every cell voltage uh, you can mount it to it like I said and uh, it'll start beeping if you're using FPV or whatever you might not be in range to hear it beep that's why I'm going to be using a timer I do use a timer that's that's my best opinion actually 
anyway, that's how you do this. It's uh, not very hard, very easy to do, highly recommended. Um, you don't want your quad dropping on the sky due to the battery being saved, but the quad going to hell. It can fall out over trees, water, or whatever. I'm getting a new train as soon. I'll be doing a new video of how to modify the Devo receiver to the Trainus receiver and all that stuff. If you guys like my videos, just subscribe and give me a, a like because I don't do this stuff for any money really. It's just for fun. To help you out with things that aren't easy to find. Thanks for watching.